749. Time for the Orange Room in Space. Carson's over there. That's right, guys. Thank you very much. Exciting day for us here. NASA flight engineer Reed Weissman is joining us live from the International Space Station. Reed, good morning. You've gained over 124,000 Twitter followers in just a month. What inspired you to share all those videos and pictures? Well, Carson, if you could just see the view, if you could just live up here for one day, you would realize it's, it's just taking pictures of our daily life. It's just amazing. This environment is incredible, uh, and it's a huge honor to be up here. So th this needs to be shared. You're doing a great job of it. You've also shared some World Cup spirit that you guys are experiencing up there. Tell us about you having a full head of hair before that USA loss to Germany last week. Well, I definitely uh, I had some some uh, some time just to say goodbye to my hair, and then I went down and uh, my commander Steve Swanson and uh, our German crewmate Alex Gerst grabbed the clippers, and there was no turning back. the The deed was done at that point. And to be quite honest, Carson, I, I think I like it. I think I'm going to keep it this way. It's a good look for you. We've been enjoying your post. We wanted to return the favor to you. So we're asking people to take a picture of their view from Earth right now. I'm going to do the same thing. You're going to see our lovely cameraman, Johnny, here. But I'm going to take a picture. And, Reed, we want you to be sure you can search the hashtag here on Earth. It'll be a touch of home for you. Speaking of which, when you get home in November back to Earth, what's the first thing you're going to do? Oh, I think the first thing I'm going to do is hug my kids. That's, that's number one. And then maybe a trip uh, to the Today Show. Who knows? Well, we'd love to have you go USA, Belgium today. I'm sure you guys will be watching. Reed Weissman on the International Space Station. Our best to everybody there on Expedition 40. Guys, back to you. Yeah. Savannah had a really good question. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the NBC portion of the event. Please stand by for a voice check from WJZ-TV. Station, this is WJZ-TV. How do you hear me? I've got you loud and clear, WJZ. Good to talk to you. Excellent. Excellent. Hi, Reed. A big hello from Maryland. Hey, a big hello back to uh, everyone in Maryland from the International Space Station. It's a huge honor to be up here, and uh, it's a great to talk to WJZ today. Reed, I had this amazing opportunity to meet your parents, Bill and Judy. They are fantastic. Uh, what is your shout out to them this morning? Oh, you, you got to thank your parents. You know, they, uh, they did an amazing job raising my brother and I. And, uh, you know, I just I couldn't thank them enough for everything that they gave us, every opportunity, uh, every risk that they took to help us both get where we uh, where we ended up is fantastic. And uh, it's it's a great ch testament to them to be uh, floating here on the International Space Station. Your parents tell me that you were fascinated with space growing up. You made all these models of the space station. Do you still pinch yourself that you are up there? Well, we've been up here for about a month, and uh, and you do settle into a routine. But every single time uh, in the morning when you wake up and you float out of bed, uh, it just hits you. It hits you like a freight train that you're actually in space. This is something you wanted to do your whole life, and now you're there. And of course. When you float down to our, our viewing area that we have called the cupola and you just take one look out at Earth, uh, you don't need to pinch yourself. It's just it's so phenomenal. It's so overwhelming uh, to look down on our planet from up here. Reed, you have brought social media in space to a whole new level. You have really brought your view directly into our homes. Um, Thank you so much. It's just been amazing. Why do you think that's important to show that view to the world? Well, uh, an astronaut friend of mine, uh, Dr. Tom Marshburn, when he came back from space, he, he, he sat down with me and said, Reed, look, you're a rookie going to the space station, and you're going to see things kind of a little different than the veterans do when they get up here. So if you look out the window or you look around space station and you see something that you find interesting, 
throw it on Twitter because I guarantee everyone else is going to find it interesting. And that's really the mindset that I had when I got up here. And, uh, it, you know, you, you absolutely cannot pick up a camera and take a bad picture from up here. Everything is so incredibly unique from this perspective. So I've had a blast doing it, and I'm glad it's so well received. What is the most beautiful thing that you have witnessed? Uh, I would say, you know, every day that, that answer changes, but right now we've had some amazing aurora over the South Pole, and we don't quite get down to the South Pole in our orbit, but we get close enough to see these, I call them green snakes that are just weaving through our upper atmosphere, and when you look down on them from the space station, it's just, I, I mean, you just can't even believe the beauty of, of this coming over the night sky. It's just absolutely amazing. Do you know when you'll be over Maryland again? I'd have to take a look, but it's about every uh, two or three days we synchronize real nice with uh, some day passes over Maryland. Uh, I did have a good chance to take some photos of the Chesapeake Bay and share them, and uh, certainly I want to see Baltimore at night is probably my next goal, to capture those city lights. Oh, take a picture and tweet it out. We'd love to see your view of us for sure. I know, Reed, that your mom wrote you a letter that was given to you when you boarded the ISS. Can you share with us what it said? She was pretty emotional about it all. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail. I was certainly emotional. And uh, I'll just say this, that uh, when, you, when you shed a tear in space, there's no gravity to pull it down your cheek, so it just kind of stays there. And uh, I got to say, as a... Uh, as a child growing up in, into an adult, uh, you don't often hear these things from your parents, and it was absolutely beautiful. It was straight from my mom's heart, and, uh, and it's, it's saved forever, without a doubt. There are so many children here in Maryland who have been watching your every move. What is your advice for them? There are so many of them that say, I want to be just like Reed Wiseman. Well, if that's the path they want to take in life, I would just say enjoy every moment, study hard, work hard, uh, enjoy your life. It's your one life to live, so you got to enjoy it. And so when you go out into the professional world and you look for that job, look for something that you absolutely love. You should wake up in the morning and just want to go into work. And I had that in, uh, in my 12 and a half, 13 year career in the Navy, and then I went down to NASA, and every day is just a, is a new opportunity, and, and I love going to work. So if you can find that, I think you're going to be a happy person. Going to work 220 miles above Earth. That's pretty awesome for sure, Reed. Um, are you getting excited for your spacewalks, and do you know when those are going to happen? Uh, right now, it sounds like we will be doing possibly two spacewalks, and I would say uh, absolutely excited, nervous, anxious. Those are the thoughts that go through my head. Uh, but really, you don't know those events are going to happen until you actually go out the door. So anything could change. And right now, we're focused absolutely on the science that we're doing every day and the tasks that we have in the near term. So if the spacewalks come in August, uh, there will be plenty of time for excitement. What has surprised you most about living in zero gravity? Uh, what is everything surprises you when you're up here floating around and I would say uh, just getting your brain to start working in three dimensions and and looking not at a floor a ceiling and two walls but every surface is usable up here and uh, and just keeping track of your life keeping track of your tools your spare parts uh, it's a whole new world and the human mind takes a little while to adapt to that I know you said you were very pumped to do some of the experiments. What are some of the experiments that you've done so far that have gone well? Well, so we've been up here for about a month, and the main experiments that we've been working on, uh, I'm going to save one for the end. I'll tell you that one in a second. But uh, really uh, some, some amazing capillary flow experiments, which is looking at fuel in tanks when it's in a weightless environment. Uh, any sort of liquid behaves extremely weird. Uh, so we've actually had some very unexpected results in that. Uh, as well, we have an, an incredible uh, environmental control system up here, which keeps us alive, and it actually takes urine, 
processes that into water. So we have a waste treatment facility up here and just working with those systems, to me, if we're ever going to go to Mars for a long duration, real long duration space, like that's the stuff that we really need. Uh, but if I could share one anecdote, I'll let you answer. Can I share one quick anecdote with you? Yes. All right, but uh, so far my favorite experiment, it's tough to pick a favorite, but my favorite, it happens uh, just off my screen over here, uh, it's called Bass. And I think that there is a reporter that still works at WJZ that goes by the same last name. And every time I crank up this glove box to do burning and suppression of solids, or the bass experiment, I get a huge chuckle. And I remember back to my childhood of watching uh, this crazy reporter down on WJZ bringing the news to uh, my parents, my brother and I, sitting there in Cockeysville, Maryland. Reed, you're absolutely right. It's Marty Bass, and he is a huge fan of yours, and certainly what you guys are doing up in the ISS. That's awesome. I'll make sure I tell him. And real quickly, Reed, before we are, are uh, finished with you here, uh, our own Don Scott, who is Marty Bass's partner, is retiring after uh, 40 years here at WJZ. We're wondering if you can uh, give him a congratulations from space right now. Oh, absolutely. 40 years uh, on WJZ. I watched you many times when I was growing up. And uh, as a kid, I think you're always, you're always hoping for that, that snow delay at school. So I remember many evenings sitting around the table with my brother uh, watching WJZ just waiting for that snow delay. So I think that's my best memory. Thanks for 40 great years, and I wish you a really happy journey ahead. And Reed, from everyone down here on Earth in Maryland, thank you so much for taking us on this journey. It is amazing. Well, thanks for being a part of it. I really enjoy sharing it, but there's nothing like being up here. It's absolutely fascinating every day. So thanks a lot. This has been a lot of fun to talk to you. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you.